Good evening. Hello everyone. Pop your hands up. You to close your eyes and I want you to picture yourself in a large open field. Hi. Happy Tuesday. When you come on, say hi, let me know you are there, let me know you are watching. It's so nice to be here. Hi! Isn't it a gorgeous, gorgeous day? Oh my gosh, it is so warm here in Brum. I've been back to the gym, guys. Can't say I loved it, but you know gotta be done <laughs> hello Susanna hello Chelsea hey guys hi Ruth hello hello why am I singing oh guys and you can tell the world's going back to normal I've turned into the uber driver as well I'm gonna drive the girls everywhere after school today <laughs> sit in the car for hours <laughs> So it's a good job I've been to the gym, otherwise I wouldn't move. Okay, so we've got Helen. Who else have we got? We've got Rosie. Hi, hi. Hello. I'm just bringing it up on the laptop just in case the comments don't work. But they are working. Hello, Diane. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? Where are you watching from in the world? Let me know. I wanted to come on and talk to you all about connection because, oh my gosh, I had a breakthrough last night absolute breakthrough with spirit it was amazing hello adrian you're in essex hello dawn hi jenny hi <laughs> if you are watching on replay give me a hashtag replay let me know you've tuned in i feel like i'm such a professional with that there i've got it nailed haven't i hi ruth hi hello everyone as always i've given you absolutely no notice <laughs> that I'm live. Hello, Rashi. Hello, Diane. Hello, hello. Right, okay. So, if you are watching on replay, give me a hashtag replay, let me know, as I've said. And I wanted to come on and talk to you all about what happened last night. Oh my God, guys, it was epic. It was amazing. So, I hosted the second live two-part training for Ultimate Connection, and it was just amazing. It was just amazing. Now, I was... Sorry about the drilling. The neighbours having the garden done. Can you all hear it? Every time, every time. <laughs> Try and go live or do something. I've managed to ship Henry off to Mr H. He's gone to the office with him. But yeah, so you wouldn't all have his barking because he's barking at everything at the moment. He's literally, the past three days, he's turned into a teenager. He started barking at birds, at a fly at anything and it's not even just a bark it's like a full-on like brrr, like goes crazy absolutely crazy so i said right i can't record any videos for youtube i can't do anything he's got to go to work with you <laughs> so he's gone to work with mr h and others brilliant <sighs> anyway calm deep breaths so anyway as i was saying i did the ultimate connection last night oh my god it was amazing so i was channeled by spirit and I don't do this all the time. I don't always let them channel me. And the reason for that is because I like to give all my years of experience previous to that channeling also because I think it's great insight for you guys and because I want to share that with you all. But because as well, it can be a little bit weird and it can feel a little bit odd. And I also worry about what they're going to say because they don't always come through with the best delivery, sometimes they can be quite harsh and a bit blunt or very direct. And it isn't because they don't care. And obviously I'll call in angels and we call in the love and support. And that's why we know we are connected to the higher energies, but they, they kind of just want to get their thing out there. They're not like me. They don't go around the bushes. They just get to the point very quickly. So when they do that, they do end up being a little bit direct. So it makes me a little bit nervous as to what they're actually going to say. 
And obviously when you're a human, you understand how other humans think and feel and what else they might have going on in their life. So if there's something that maybe is a little bit of a sensitive nature, as an individual, you've got to find a way to understand the person's energy, where their vibration is at now, and kind of give it to them in the most beautiful, divine way so they understand what you're saying. You don't misinterpret the messages, you don't fluff them up or change them, but you deliver it in a more loving manner and in a more content-filled way. So that's my rationale behind it. However, they did me proud. So this was the two-part training. The first one was last week and the second one was last night. The first one we did cleansing and we connected to higher selves and that was amazing. And then, and something I don't really do a lot, I don't really go into higher selves because ultimately higher self spirit and everything else, it's just you, it's just you. And it's higher self is you in your highest form, but they're all just one collective. So when I talk about spirit, it's kind of everything. It's a plural, it's to everything up there. And um, whatever you guys resonate with, whether it be God, higher self, um, loved ones on the other side, angels, it's like, that's what's important for you. So you can resonate with that and communicate with that because ultimately what you feel comfortable with and what you can feel connected to very easily and trust is half the battle with this. It's, it's literally half the battle. So it doesn't really matter what you connect to as long as in the form of spirit, as long as you feel aligned and you feel comfortable to it because then you'll make a deeper connection. And of course, we go into the higher energies and we lift our vibration in the process, which eradicates anything that could be detrimental to you. So you only attract the light and the good. And that's how it all works in a brief summary. But last night, let me tell you, right? Amazing. So I was channeling spirit and they were saying to me during the training, which was really hard because I was delivering, listening to them, trying to answer questions, trying to make sure everything was working. So it is hard work. And also I had no idea what they were gonna say. So I was thinking, do I need a backup plan? What if they don't deliver? What if they just decide that's it, they're bored now and they don't deliver till nine o'clock, which I'd said. So it's supposed to be an hour long training, hour and a half. And I was thinking, what if they only give me 30 minutes of content, which can happen? What do I do? How do I like, do I create something? Do I just talk? What? So it was a bit of a, oh gosh, what, what they're gonna do kind of thing going on but they came up trumps, they really did. And I let them do the Q&A, because halfway through they were saying, at the end, answer everyone's questions, but we will do the Q&A, we'll do it for you. And the way they were talking, it was like, everyone was saying that my face had changed. They were very direct, and I was aware they were in my body, and I was aware of words that were coming out, but I kind of had no thoughts there. So you know when you answer a question, but you're thinking at the same time, I don't know anyone's ever done that, it was like that process was blocked. I couldn't have any opinion on it. I couldn't have any words on it, but they could talk. So it was absolutely crazy. And everyone was saying that my face changed and I wasn't fully aware of how deep I'd gone because obviously I'm trusted, I'm guided and I'd call the angels in before I do all this. This is something you shouldn't try at home. Definitely not, disclaimer there. But when they'd finished and they'd had enough and they were like, that's it. And because they know my limits and they know what's enough and that's enough, or what the audience need and what the people listening, that's enough. I could feel them going out of my body and it was like I was all light again and I was just me and then it was like I could think and I, words were coming back in my head, like and thoughts and my thoughts and I was like, oh my gosh. And everyone was like, you completely changed, your face changed, everything changed, it was like your voice changed. And I was like, were they okay with you? Because I thought, oh my God, if they were direct but they were direct and they were to the point, but in a good way. So I was very proud of them. But something they said that was fascinating was they brought up five different ways to link into spirit. Now, if you are psychic, then you might've done my psychic school previously or done psychic studies elsewhere. And you'll be familiar with something called the gateway if this has been taught by the people that you, you are training with. Now, the gateway to spirit is the easiest way for you to connect into them and the clearest way for you. And everyone's got a different gateway and exploring this and finding it can be actually a little bit fun and then it can also be frustrating. Sorry, there's a bumblebee on his way in. If you hear me scream and run, you know the bumblebees come to get me. Um, so anyway, these five ways that you could tune in. But rather than spending ages practicing and reading people and reading photos and holding objects and doing all that kind of thing, 
they literally summarized it in one session. So we went through the different ways and the different communication and we sampled it and explored it. And then you would be able to know by the end of the session, which one is your gateway. But even if you're not gifted, this is where it gets really exciting. So even if you're not gifted and you just want to connect to spirit just for you and you just want to tune in, then you can use these same methods and these same connection just to ask for guidance for you. So you'll know that there's three different types of connection that I always talk about. And the word that combines my whole work as a whole is connection. It's the word connection. That's what I do. I help you connect, whether it be connecting to yourself for guidance for you um, and just knowing what your vibrations are and what you need, whether it's connection to spirit for guidance for yourself to support you in decisions and actions and life, because it can be hard, guys. And the third one is connection to spirit on the other side to pass on messages for the humans here on earth. Okay, so that's how that works, which is mediumship and that's a gift. And that is something you've got or you just haven't got. But either way, you'll understand from the ultimate connection how to connect to you. And to really excel as a psychic, you need to be tuned into yourself. It's so important and it's a step you just can't bypass which is why when people develop and actually when they go into this world, they actually feel so great. They actually feel so much better. And they're like, not only do I have this strong connection to spirit, but I actually feel better in myself, guys. And I'm like, yes, I know, I know that's how it works. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't happen straight away. You can have your bumpy moments. You can feel like you're on oblivion, the roller coaster in Orton Towers, but at times it can feel amazing if you just be consistent with it and you get the support and you find the right person to help you with it, which might not necessarily be myself. But once you are connected, it is just, it's just amazing. It's just absolutely amazing. And that's what we did last night. So I'm gonna quickly read out to you because I have to go and pick up my babies from school, but I'm gonna quickly read out to you some of the ways that they connect, right? So they used sight. So these are some of the ways now. So let's see which one, we might be able to figure it out here in these few moments I've got with you, but I won't keep you longer, I promise. So sight is basically if you're a visual person. So if you are a visual person that likes to, say for example, you're gonna learn something, a course, and if you had to read lots of text, it wouldn't really go in, but if you wanted to watch a video or if you like watching live streams like you are now, then you might be a visual person. You need to see the person's face or if you like to communicate and meet up with people face to face, you're gonna be a visual person. So you would have to um, work on and explore whether your gateway would be sight, okay? Now we connected to loved ones that people had on the other side that they felt comfortable with, and it did get a little bit emotional, but it was so incredible and it was amazing for them. The other one was light, now this was amazing. They made me get the candle, turn all the lights off in the room, which last night when it was dark was a little bit spooky. And they made me hold the candle and stare into it. Now, when you, I'm telling you this, I'm giving it all away, sneak peeks here. But has anyone ever seen the film, um, The Chronicles of Narnia with Lucy Perrincy, when she goes to the Fawn's house and she looks into the fire and then Aslan appears and there's like a whole scene going on and everything. Has anyone seen that? Let me know. That's what it was like, literally. So not everybody got that, but some people did, and it was just amazing. So light attracts light. So even though I turned off all the lights and it does look spooky on the training, it was actually really good. It was really cool. Now, hearing them. So if anyone's ever had any kind of buzzing in their ears, and just a disclaimer here, you know, you can get tinnitus, you can have ear infections, and that can cause buzzing in the ears. However, it can also be a sign of spirituality and your guides on your left side and your guardian angels on your right that are trying to communicate with you. So you need to pay attention to this and pay attention to what's going on because that can be the communication. If you're getting the buzzing in the ears, then the chances are that your link into spirit is through hearing. So they'll communicate through words or they'll communicate through your own mind and your own messages through yourself so it will almost be like you just know things and that will be the people who get the I just know or I've just heard or I don't really know how I heard I just know it's because you're a little bit fearful of hearing voices because we've all got an association as humans that if you hear voices you're crazy or this that and the other but that's what that can mean all right emotion now 
us natural empaths, most people who are interested in spirituality or maybe work in a caring industry or are mums maybe or anything like that, they can be natural empaths. There can be lots of people that are natural empaths but aren't spiritual. Now these people can struggle to be around groups and crowds and you know, it can be quite hard to be an empath, it really can. And it can almost put you off doing certain things in life because you don't know how to close down. And if you close down too much, you're not being true to who you are at soul level, which is a natural empath. So we went through emotional connection and how it's okay to have that emotional connection, but don't hold on to it, all right? So you can feel it and release it at the same time. And that can be incredibly powerful. So that's what we did as well, which was emotion. Now, all of this was done in a case of we meditated first and we opened up to spirit and called them in. And even if you can't meditate and it's not something you're familiar with and it's not something you resonate with, as long as you hear the words, the purpose of it is to put light all around you so you are protected at all times by spirit. So this was the most safest way for us to link in. Oh my God, it was absolutely next level, guys. It was amazing. People were literally loving it. Oh, I've got some of you on here now that were... Uh, on last night so yeah you know what it was like it was amazing I've never had so many messages from one course and I was a little bit I'm not gonna lie guys I was a little bit miffed because I was just like well why do you all love spirit so much what about me <laughs> what about my trainings what about my direction I was like oh god so I was saying to spirit you know I know you bring the magic and everything but hello I have had so many years of working with you guys and so many years of, you know, experiences with you that I could literally write 10 books. I have no desire to write a book, by the way, but I could write 10 books. And I was just like, why does everyone love you? Why does everyone love you, spirit? God, so annoyed. <laughs> but then we made up again because obviously, you know, I do. They told me I play a pivotal part in it all. So there we go. Anyway, it is available for you if you want to watch this. Who would like it? Because if you would... What I've done is I've created a way for you to actually tune in and have access to life with this content. And I've just pasted it into the comments, the link for you. I used to be able to pin things, but yeah, you can't anymore, can you? Facebook changes every single day. So it's pinned in the comments. I've also popped in there as well, another one of my courses, which is always really popular and does so well for everybody. They love it. It's how to connect to spirit in 10 days. But the purpose of all these programs I'm giving you in these trainings is because it's going to be personal to you. Because I can't just go, there's one formula, you've all got to go and do it, that will have you connected. It's not like that. So spiritualism changes like you, it changes as you develop. So your connection may change. That's why I have to make you aware of all the different ways. Because as you evolve as a human, as you cleanse, you might end up, changing you might need something else coming in so if you've got all the knowledge you can repeat the process over and over again as you develop and as you change but it'll give you all of the insight and connection you'll get to see all the channel in live you'll get to watch the first only live training where i haven't interjected and put anything of my own in and then you will get the other trainings afterwards 10 days worth of content on how to connect to spirit and find a routine for you a spiritual routine where you can connect and feel safe and feel loved and get guidance and stop having to make your life so hard because life's hard enough, guys. You know, you've got a whole team up there ready to support you. Don't just sit there and try and do it all yourself. They're there. So get yourselves in there. It's going to be um, on till the end of the month. So it's available to the end of the month to purchase. Then it will be disappearing. So once the, it's the 30 days in April. Let me just check. I'm trying to remember that rhyme, but I always say it backwards. Yes, there is. There's 30 days in April. So it's available till the 30th of this month. If you would like to share this live stream, that'd be amazing. But yeah, get it out there, guys. And I know I have been quiet on the live front here with you guys, but I've been doing so much behind the scenes. And we've got some new team members on board because we're expanding at a rapid, rapid rate. I say we, me and spirit. It is literally going so quickly at the moment, which is amazing. I'm not moaning but I'm putting pillars and foundations in place to accommodate the growth as well. So now the team are stepping up and they're doing more for me, which is amazing. I can actually show up more and just be my content creator, which is a whole bliss thing. Um, and yeah, that's it, my darling. So, oh, another one loved last night. Fabulous. 
I'm going to have to go, otherwise I would stay on and answer some of your questions, but I've got to go and pick up my babies. So I love you all so very much. The link is in the comments. Get yourself in there. I can't wait to have you all spiritually connected. I love you all so much. Big kisses, big loves. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you for watching. Bye.